Happy 4th of July, Pretty Polishers. If you are in the U.S. and you are celebrating 4th of July, I hope you're having a nice long weekend. Today's video is going to be my red, white, blue, and glitter patriotic polishes, my favorite ones, and it's also going to be a collab with my friend Phoebe Moon, and I'll get into that after the swatches. Let's take a look at my favorite patriotic polishes. First up is my favorite red, and this is America by Zoya, very appropriately named, and this is a classic red cream. So here's two coats of America, and this is just a dream to apply. The formula is on the thinner side, which makes it very easy to apply, just super manageable. It's opaque in two coats, and it dries very shiny and glossy. Basically, it's your perfect red. Up next is my favorite white polish, and this is Alpine Snow by OPI. It is a stark white cream. So here's two coats of Alpine Snow, and this is like a beautiful snowy day. This is fully opaque in two coats. It does require a second coat because it is pretty streaky after the first coat. This is my go-to polish for nail art if I need a white base. Moving on to my favorite blue polish is none other than the original formula of Pacific Blue by Sally Hansen. This is a gorgeous bright blue cream. So here's two coats of Pacific Blue, and this is almost opaque in one coat. This is just a, such an amazing polish. I know it's not available in stores anymore, but if you're a true nail polish lover like I am, you will go on eBay and pay $10 per bottle. I mean, for $10 you get such a classic color, and some indies are t priced at $10, so I don't see it as a big investment, and it is going to be completely worth the money. And rounding out my favorite patriotic polishes, this is Spectacular by Salon Perfect, which is a red, white, and blue hex glitter in a clear base. So here's one coat of Spectacular over a nude base, and this glitter does require a lot of dabbing and fishing, so it might be a good idea to use the sponging method to apply this glitter onto your nails. I demonstrated the sponging method in my last video, so I can link that below in case you guys are interested. I love this glitter because it is just perfect for 4th of July. It represents everything we celebrate on 4th of July, red, white, and blue. And now for the fun part, the Manny Swap. My friend Phoebe Moon and I collabed on this and basically what a Manny Swap is, she picked out one of my 4th of July designs and I picked out one of hers and we both recreated each other's designs. If you don't follow Phoebe Moon, I highly suggest you go to her channel. She is super funny, she's super beautiful and she does the best reviews of all kinds of collections, indies, mainstream brands, she's got it all on her channel. And she just started a series called Nail Art 101 where she teaches us how to do simple nail art design. She's fantastic. I'm going to link her down below, of course, so you can check her out. So here's Phoebe's 4th of July Manny that I decided to recreate. It is a super cute banner that says America. 
To create this Manny, I needed black, red, and blue acrylic paint. I got these from Michaels and I'll link them below in case you're interested. I also needed a silver and white polish. For the silver polish, I used No Place Like Chrome by Essie and the white is Alpine Snow. And of course, I needed some nail art brushes. I found these at Marshalls, but you can find nail art brushes on Amazon or eBay. First step I did was to paint my nails with a white polish, add a top coat and let it dry. Then I was ready to start my nail art. I dipped my nail art brush in my red acrylic paint and I started doing lines across all of my nails to create the top line of my banner. Then I took some blue acrylic paint and my nail art brush and started doing the flags of the banners. This particular acrylic paint was a little bit watered down so I had to keep going back and applying different layers. Then I took the red acrylic paint and started doing the red flags and so on and so forth. Next I used my silver polish to create the top line design of the banner. So here's what the design is looking like so far and I made a ton of mistakes which is perfectly normal and okay when you're doing nail art you're bound to mess up and it's perfectly fine. I used white acrylic paint to clean up where I had done mistakes if my lines were too thick, I wanted them a little bit thinner, where I wanted lines to be sharper. So don't be afraid to mess up because practice makes perfect. So next I added a glossy top coat and prepared myself to add the letters to the flags on the banner. I used the same nail art brush I was using before with white acrylic paint but I really hated the way that this came out. So I dipped it in some blue acrylic paint and... Ugh, I cannot believe I totally messed that up. But this is the beauty of nail art. I simply took some white acrylic paint and cleaned that blob of blue paint that I created on the bottom. Then I also took some blue acrylic paint and erased that letter because it was just too thick and just didn't look right. So I started over and I used a toothpick this time and I was able to create a thinner letter which looked much better and I was happier with. So after I finished all my letters, which was no easy task, I applied a glossy top coat and voila, there is my America banner. Guys, this was a challenge for me, but I was ready to take it on and I loved working with Phoebe Moon on this collab, so don't forget to check out her channel and her recreation video will be linked in the description bar. Remember, your nail art doesn't have to look perfect. The more you practice, the better you're gonna get at it. So just have fun with it and keep practicing. I hope you guys enjoyed my patriotic polishes and my mani swap with the lovely Phoebe Moon. Don't forget to leave me a comment below letting me know which ones are your favorite patriotic polishes. Have a safe and happy 4th of July. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest, or you can visit my blog, nailpolishpursuit.com. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Until next time, stay strong in your pursuit.